Hello, welcome to another episode of the Crazy's Cookbook. Uh, right, today I'm cooking elk steaks. That's right, uh, elks. They're a little bit like deer. I mean, they're not deer. Um, and I said, I don't mean that they're cheap, they're expensive, yeah? But look, like, basically, they're badass deers. You could uh, give you an idea, there's literally like seven uh, deers to one elk. Yeah, so elk fuck up deers, basically, that's it, yeah? And that's why they're in the exotic meat section of the show. But yeah, so check this out, we're gonna cook that now. Right. First and foremost, um, I'm not just going to chuck the elk straight on, we're going to do some other food because I'm hungry. So I got a giant potato, I'm going to uh, chop it into sections. So I'm going to put a slice there, a slice there, a slice here, and a slice there. I'm going to hold that together and I'm going to slice across. And then I'm going to go like that, like that, like that. Like that. Then we got nice big chunks of potato. Doing them a bit different to normal just because, you know, variety is the spice of life. But yeah, it's a nice size potato chunk. Good. But let the memories live. I've got to give my own and best. So fuck. We're gonna get uh, onion. I'm gonna put that in there as well. Now because the onion uh, cooks quite quick, uh, we don't want it to burn off. So I'm gonna do really big chunks of onion. Pow. Like that, pow, and that, pow, and that, and then. Fuck you. Call it O800, fuck you. O8. Next, with a bit of flavour on it, garlic. Uh, now, I've got the biggest garlic I can find in the shop. I always get the biggest one. Beat up a bit, don't be afraid of no garlic. If it can kill vampires, it can work for you too. Um, look, I was going to just fling that in there. I even believe just to release the flavours out a little bit. Beat that down a bit. Use the end of your knife. Don't be free. Chuck that in there. Get rid of that if you can. Don't worry too much. It will come off. Let's get a few more in there as well. Okay. Get some rope garlic in this shit. Also, I've got some thyme. Not super fresh, but dry thyme still nice. I'm gonna chuck that all over there and save a little bit uh, for the elk. Nah, look. Crush that down, yeah. And then I'm gonna season it thoroughly. Don't do no light seasoning, we want a good bit of pepper in there. Don't let that get stuck on the pan as well. I also have some oil in there to help fry that down and make it all stick together and heat up with a good ratio around the pan. Right, I'm gonna put this on the heat now. So enough is in the oven. <laughs> that is on about 240. I'm looking to cook this quite fast. So. so I try to live every day like it's my last. Hello ladies, gentlemen and Peter Gazers. Uh, we are back um, on the meat section, yeah? Now this is what elk steaks look like. Um, I mean, to be fair, this is from Frozen, so it looks a little bit like liver again. Um, so I think you were noticing that with a general theme from these exotic Frozen meats. I mean, look, it looks like it could be beef. Looks like, you know, it could be any red meat. I'm going to treat it just like it's a steak though, because we want to try the meat, you know, see the difference between this and uh, venison or whatever it is. But um, look, I've heated up that, that's stupid hot, it could like melt lava and shit. Let's get it on. Real talk, crudely cut bitch. We've got these beautiful van tomatoes. Uh, I'm going to pop in now whilst that meat's on, because I want this to cook down. I've chucked a bit of oil on there. I'd usually go for like olive oil, but I actually forgot to buy olive oil in the shop like a huge yacht. But I've got a bit of seasoning on there, a bit of salt and pepper, a little bit more and a bit of oil, and that's all I'm putting on. I would put on garlic usually, but I do that a lot of the times, so I'm just going to do it different so I can just taste the flavour of these ones, because these are nice tomatoes. I'm going to slap that in the bottom. And um, this has been on for about two minutes, three minutes. 
I think I'm gonna leave it for about 30 more seconds. And I want it to be, yeah, quite where, but also a nice line from top. And I believe we achieved that. Look at those lines right there. Yeah, boy! Yeah, yeah. I turned it to a tiger, you get me, fam? Uh. Taking over all of my brain, I'm walking in the rain, trying to let wash away the pain, but I'm feeling strange. So our elk steaks, um, I've done another two minutes on the other side, and it's coming through, this blood coming through. It's pretty tough feeling, which I think is going to be an indication of what it's like when it's in your mouthpiece. But uh, so I've taken that off of the griddle, uh, pop onto a, a pan with lower heat in a second, but for now, I'm going to get a nice wedge of butter in there. I'm gonna get some cloves of garlic and some thyme. So I'm gonna bring some thyme in there. And some garlic in there and let that cook down. And believe it or not, people, I actually don't have any bay leaves left. Yeah, there's been a raw drought on bay leaves. I think you know if you can find any bay leaves, send them to crazyscookbook.com. Yeah, that's right, email me the news. <laughs> Alright, I'll send them to a PO Box, Crazy's Cookbook, on bluepeer.com. Yeah. So I've pulled up uh, two corn on the bottom and I've chopped them into half, quite simply so they're easier, smaller chunks and two goes around. But I'm going to brown that off with some butter around the outside and they can join the elk steaks to cook whilst I do the sauce. And this is why I'm paying just because the cut's taking over, just like the fucking... Time for the sauce. Now, as I say, because I'm just going to treat this like steak, I'm just going to do a wine reduction so I have some Shiraz. Yeah, and I've got a really hot pan. I've uh, got to pour that on there first to cook out the alcohol. And as I said, that is good by to any chance of us getting drunk from this wine. But that's not what it's about. Right, I've got some leftover bits, teeniest bit of rosemary and a bit of thyme. I'm gonna put that in there for flavor. Quite simply, I'm gonna get an oxo cube, beef oxo cube. And so I'm treating it like a steak. This just gives it a bit of flavor. I'm going to drop that in there and I'm going to reduce that down so it starts to thicken out and become velvety and that will be our sauce it's pretty much that, it's really easy but it tastes pain trust me on this one, give it a try Right, this sauce now is looking velvety that, is, that probably needs like a few seconds more and that is ready to serve up. It's got a lot thicker, it's like a, a wine syrup now. Um, but yeah, basically, trust me, that's going to be delicious. And um, sauces like that complement gamey meats and from what I'm guessing, elk's going to be gamey. I've never cooked it before, I don't know. Never had venison before. But yeah, that's why I'm doing this show. I'm tasting it so you don't have to. Or so you can go out and try it after I've told you it's better. But you know, it's gonna be good looking, it's amazing. Right, I'm gonna serve this up, I'll be back with you in a minute. Hadou can day, more, I'm gonna bring it raw. She ain't gonna hide away, get high all day on high grade. Nah, I saw it right away. And I pray that they don't hide up and try today, cause it can get hot faster than food that's in the microwave. So put your mic away, cause I don't care about the rhymes you say. If you just some dick and standing there telling lies all day. See, I ain't on these games, nah, I ain't the type to play. I turn rappers into vegetables to get my five a day. Well, I'm sure you'll agree this is looking pretty delicious. Um, steaks are quite small, but they might be like fillet or something, so whatever. Right, um, big shout out to Fire Marshal Phil as well. well yeah, send a big, big shout out to Fire Marshal Phil every time. Don't they save their lives? Or oh, can't, maybe. Um, right, so look, I'm going to cut into this now. Let's open it up. 
see what this is about. So it's got the pink in it still. Come on, excuse my dog. Bad man, chef, isn't it? Right, so I'm not just gonna stick all that in my mouth and try to talk to you. I'm gonna chop a smaller bit off so I can taste it. No. I'm not gonna completely douse it in the sauce. Alright! Wow! Now that's tender. I thought, yeah, it's gonna be like veal, which it gets a bit, um, or venison or whatever, sorry. Um, but it's a bit tight, and it's, um, you know, that's not quite beefy or anything like that, but it's good. Real good. Right? I heard people say that it's better than beef, and, um, do you know? I'm not gonna say no to that. Oh, wow, it's really good. Right. Who the funk it, eh? Elk. Pick up your elky self. I mean, the rest of the dish is all stuff with tomato tree back on and cooked before. Um, yeah, this is mad. Yeah, I mean, the whole reason I'm doing this episode is the exotic meat editions to try exotic stuff. Because a lot of you want to try that, you know? But this one is up there. Up there with proper luck. Indeed, no question. Beautiful, like I highly recommend it. Um, the sauce as well, you really complimented. I was right. Um, it's not gamey, like some people say it's gamey. It's not gamey. It tastes no, really good, really good steak. But like, um, the chicken roll comes really nice on it. It's got a good burn on that. But yeah, that's. I'm, I'm saying that's like nine, ten, ten. That's really, really flipping good. Um, I'm tender as well. All right, look, that's another episode of Crazy Exotic Foods um, Edition, Crazy Cookbook. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed that. Honestly, if you get a chance to have elk, be with venison, it work exactly the same. Give it a go. Yeah, so you crazy said you. Hope you enjoy it. Don't eat quiche. There's a video there and there. There's a subscribe button down there. Go press that button. Don't be a bite fish or a Peter Gazer. And I'll see you next time.